What's up, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn? How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? I hope you all had a beautiful day. We're about to get a next 48 message for you. See what's in the energy for you guys from now to the next 48 hours. See what messages Spirit has for y'all. All right. Keep an open mind while listening to this. This is a general read. Meaning I'm picking up on multiple energies, multiple situations and storylines. Get in where you fit in. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for another earth placement out there. This is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. What's up, Earth signs? Let's see what's going on with y'all. Apply the rose as you see fit. The rose are interchangeable. Let's see what's going on with y'all, Earth signs. Next 48 message. Father God, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and North Node? What is it that you would like them to know from now until the next 48 hours? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Allow me to see things clearly. Thank you for these messages. We appreciate you. Thank you for covering me, shielding me, protecting me as I channel this energy. What messages do you have for earth signs regarding now until the next 48 hours? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Two more shuffles. Give me two more shuffles. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, first card out. We have the Empress. I love to see it. All right, Earth signs. So I feel like this is you. You showing up as the Empress. Very nice. All right, Empress. Somebody here wants your attention. But they feel like you're not giving it to them, okay? I feel like somebody wants your attention, Empress, but you're not paying them any mind. Somebody feels like you're ignoring them or you just don't have them to think about. Yeah, there you go. Virgo energy. Some of y'all could have strong Virgo placements. Virgo is Earth. Here we got Virgo right here, the Hermit. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, possibly somebody with strong Virgo in their chart. But I feel like you are quiet, okay, Empress? Something about you being quiet, staying to yourself, not saying anything, and just somebody's taking that as you're not interested, you don't have them to think about. Like that's how that's how somebody's taking it. There's a king of wands here in your energy. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with fire signs, Aries Leo Sag, or somebody with strong fire in their chart. Some of you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. You could also have Aquarius in your chart. But I feel like somebody feels like you've healed from some sort of betrayal and you have absolutely nothing to say to them. Like this person could have hurt you and betrayed you in some way, but you've healed. And this person is like, okay, well, damn, like we can't talk though. <laughs> like that's how somebody feel. They like, damn, we can't talk. Earth sounds, I feel like if this is a love interest or somebody that was a romantic interest at one point, you made up your mind to keep your options open. You like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, homie. I know what you did, and I'm good. I'm going to keep my options open. You do have options, Empress, of course. The Empress always has options. Who don't want to be with the Empress? Right, Earth signs? Who don't want to be with the Empress? Clarify this Empress energy. Clarify the Empress for me, Holy Spirit, for the Earth signs. Yeah, somebody feels like you're rejecting them. Somebody here that want to come back, five of pentacles in reverse, they feel left out in the cold, they feel like an outsider, an outcast. They want back in, they want to get back into your good graces. This person wants to get back on your good side because they feel abandoned, they feel stuck, they feel left out in the cold. If this person was causing conflict for you at some point, they're saying that they're not going to do it anymore. Okay, somebody here could have also got locked up. All right, it's like a whole lot of shit going on here behind the scenes uh, with this person. And whoever they was working together with to cause you some sort of conflict. But it's like this person wants to make amends now. But they feel like you just don't have shit to say to them. And they see you setting out on a brand new journey. They feel like you taking a new leap of faith. And you taking a leap of faith and you got a new beginning. Excuse me, that's what I'm trying to say. This person feels like you taking a leap of faith in a new direction. And you have some sort of new beginning here. But this person wants a new beginning with you as well. We have an emperor in the reverse that's codependent, okay? Extremely codependent. So this is somebody that's not a vibrational match to you, Empress. Empress, you showed up in the upright. We have an emperor in the reverse that's extremely codependent here that wants to make amends. This person wants to hold on to you. They want to 
heal something with you. For some of you, this could be uh, a child's father. Those of you that have children with this person, this could be a child's father. And then for others of you, this is just a distorted masculine that y'all know from the past that betrayed you, but you already healed. Somebody here could be a fire sign. Somebody here could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, a Scorpio or a Pisces. But I feel like you've made a decision to move forward because you feel like that's the best thing for you to do. You had to heal a lot when it comes to this person. And so you're just like, I'm not backtracking. I don't, I'm not backtracking. I forgive you. You apologize, whatever, whatever. Okay, I forgive you, but go on about your business and I'm going to go on about mine, child. Like, that's just how y'all feel right now, Earth Signs. Here we got you, Taurus, showing up, okay? Capricorn, I'm just waiting on you, baby, okay? But we got Virgo here with the Hermit, and we got Taurus here with the Hierophant, both in the upright. I feel like you are very stable, okay? Earth Signs, very stable, staying to yourself. And you simply don't have any romantic feelings for this person anymore. I feel like you're not in love with this person anymore. Um, some of you could have been dealing with a cancer as well. But this person is stuck on you. They're upset. Um, this person could be like sending you messages from weird numbers. Like this person wants to contact you, but it's like they're doing it in such a passive, aggressive, or indirect way. Like this is the type of person to contact y'all through a number that you don't recognize and just say stupid shit. Like, and it's like, what? Like you and some of y'all may even intuitively know that it's coming from their ass, because you already know how they give it up okay or this person is like making fake accounts and and requesting you as a friend or jumping into your dms through an account that has probably two posts and a weird uh profile pic you know it's like some weird shit going on like that with this person i don't even feel like for some of you that this person is being very straightforward and direct with you it's like they being weird okay yeah this person feels like you happier without them okay and they seen that you was happier without them. And this is why they wanted to cause conflict for you in the first place. This is why all of this shit was happening with this person anyway. Because they saw that you was happy without them. And that triggered the hell out of them. And they lost their mind. And they wanted to rage war. This person sees that you still getting your wish fulfillment. I can't make it up. Page of Swords right behind it. This person still see that you getting your wish fulfillment, Earth Signs. And that got this person mad. That person mad. This person mad as hell. For some of you, they only stopping this conflict because they feel like they have to. For some of you, this person now has some sort of legal issues. They could have went that far and now they have legal issues. For some of you, they went that far and now they fucking have legal issues. Some of y'all may even be saying that this person is a stalker. Like this person been stalking y'all. Yeah, because they refuse to let you go. They refuse to let this cycle close out. But for but for you, Earth signs, you said the cycle already closed out. Yeah. Some of y'all may even have to go as far as to get in um a restraining order on this person or something like that. Listen, it, it's going it's it's deep for some of y'all. Yeah, you may have to get the authorities involved for some of y'all because you just don't feel the same, and this person is like really not taking no for an answer they keep trying and then it's like they just keep trying to like irritate you and upset you and like i said rage some sort of war against you because every time they look at you you happy and that's that's pissing them off they're triggered by this they're triggered because they're getting karma while you happy and your wishes are being fulfilled with this sun and four wands energy 11 11 it's like this person is getting karma and this is what triggered them yeah, and their karma could be them actually going to jail or somebody that they was partnered up with to rage war against you is going to jail. Something here has backfired. Somebody here feels binded to something as well. They they work together with somebody else. So let's just even say this is your child's father because for some of you, I'm getting that it is your child's father. This person saw that you heal, you bossed the fuck up, you glowed up, you transformed. And it's like you turned into this beautiful empress, Earth Signs. This person, for some of you, they even partnered up with somebody else that they were dating. This person could have gotten into a whole nother relationship. And they was dealing with a queen of swords in the reverse. Somebody that's karmic, distorted, and toxic, just like they asses. And these two people was behind the scenes sending you negative energy, doing spell work and all that shit. And now they under judgment for this. We got the judgment in the reverse and the will of fortune reverse. This motherfucker is a loser, okay? This loser was attacking y'all with a woman that they was living with or that they was screwing, that they was dealing with. 
them two clowns attacked you together and now they both under judgment they both getting karma that's what's going on here they unhappy these two fools could even live together and it's nothing but chaos in that home they have no peace and you still happy still moving forward still doing your thing empress like this person see that they did all of this shit for nothing they raged this war against you for absolutely nothing because you still sitting pretty. You still getting everything you want. And the only thing that they ended up doing was causing more problems for them and anybody that worked with them. Them and this, this chick that they dealing with, this shit is backfiring. For those of you where they were sending y'all spiritual attacks, this shit has backfired. And Shorty is mad. Okay? I also feel like there's some sort of financial loss here between these two people as well. Somebody here could have even lost their job. That's a part of their karma. But financial poverty, uh, some sort of loss to their finances is, is a part of their karma. Yeah, they're going through an extreme tower moment. I can't make it up. We got the tower here. Will of fortune reverse, judgment in the reverse. Like, these people fucking going through it. And, they, and it's no denying that they're going through all of this because of what they did to you, Empress. It's no denying it. It's no denying it. These people are going through all of this shit getting their ass whooped because of what they did to you. Somebody here could have could have also thought that they was going to get some sort of money. They not getting shit with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here heavily burdened and weighed down. They not getting a motherfucking thing. This person could even be trying to make amends with you because they need help from you. Especially if this is your child's father. This motherfucker think that he could just come towards you and ask you for something. And maybe if he was a decent person, y'all could have that kind of relationship even if y'all not romantically connected. But because this motherfucker acts like a child... And they was attacking you for no good reason because they're triggered, because they're insecure, because they're hurt, because they have unhealed childhood trauma. And they were a low vibrational, toxic, karmic woman just as themselves because he real sassy. You know, it's like two ladies in a relationship here. This man is real sassy. So it's like these two clowns paired up together, attacked you, Empress, and now they suffering. Now they suffering. And if they are working, they still suffering. It's like... They busting their ass working all these hours and they got shit to show for it. This person is disappointed. I'm also for here. I'm also hearing for some of you. If this is your child's father, this person was trying to spite you by not taking care of their child, and they getting karma for that too. Don't think that you could just walk away from your responsibility and not take care of your child and everything gonna be straight. Oh no, God gonna get you for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit is not gonna be straight. This person, shit, they could be getting their checks garnished or something could, their accounts could be frozen. Somebody here could have lost the vehicle, lost the car. Shit got repoed. It's all types of shit going on in this person's life. Trust and believe that. Them and this chick. And this chick that they dealing with, she can't help them. She can't help them. She losing shit too. And this person was walking around lying on y'all, acting like you still wanted them or acting like you was doing shit to them. You, was, you ain't had this person to think about and they know that because they still want your attention. A lot of the reason why this person did this is because they miss you and they just want your attention. Even if it's a negative response or reaction from you, they just want your attention. This person was expecting you to go tit for tat with them. But you're not going tit for tat with them, Empress. You know that you retaliating in any way would have blocked your blessings. And you got way too many blessings to look forward to in order to give this person your power and energy and block your blessings by retaliating, lowering your vibration and matching their energy. All you did was... Continue to invest in yourself, work hard, and that's why you're receiving justice in this situation. You will be celebrating very soon, and I feel like you know that because you also showing up as the high priestess. Some of you can have Libra, Pisces, Virgo placements, okay? You can have Aries in your chart as well, okay? But this person feels like a fucking fool. They feel like you're avoiding them. Yeah, you are avoiding them because you know that they're karmic. You know that they're toxic as hell. And it's like this person really wants to make amends. They want to make peace with you. They could even be leaving this karmic woman that they was with that they was attacking with they they could be separating it's like now this person want to come back to you you think this person smoking crack you like hell no i don't want you back yeah eight of cups in the reverse this person will come back towards some of y'all yeah this person gonna be trying to reach out eight of wands like i said for some of you this is your child's father and then for others of you this is just somebody that y'all used to deal with in the past y'all may not even have children but this is somebody that feels like y'all have a soulmate connection. This person is still very attracted to you. Some of you got strong Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart as well. But this person just sees you as someone that's very attractive. They want to send you a message, but they two-faced. This is somebody that's two-faced. They've been walking around town, spreading lies, talking shit about you, 
gossiping, trying to get people to look at you in a negative way. They wanted everybody to be against you because they just a bitch. This person is a, this is a loser. This is what you call a fucking loser, okay? And they saying that they did all of this because they love you. This person's fucking nuts. They saying that they did all of this because they love you and you wasn't paying them no mind. This person is very codependent. Nine of Pentacles in reverse and a nine of cups reverse. They're codependent and they bitter as fuck and they holding a grudge, but they want to come towards you and act like they not. This is somebody that want to come towards you as a healed person because they see how much you've healed and grown. So it's like they want to come towards you as a healed person, but it's bullshit. It's a lie. Y'all are being protected from this person. Earth size, this is your next 48, all right? I hope that this message has reached the right ears, gave you guys some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me and tapping in. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.